Hello and welcome to another uh, cell phone video. Um, so, just on a whim because I'm reinstalling my window. I'm reinstalling Windows on my main system. I figured I'd do an operating system reinstall on this on my T530 as well. Um, thing is, I actually have. Um, I actually now have an SSD for it, a uh, larger one than the 128GB one that um, came in here. I think this is 128, yeah, 120. Um, so I actually already put the SSD in here and it is a 480GB SSD. I plan to be installing Fedora on this. Um, so yeah. Uh, shouldn't be too big an issue, just, you know. I might have to change some firmware settings. We'll see. Yeah, there's the SSD. I'm not sure why Ubuntu is still in the boot man menu, because you know. But anyway. I, in theory, shouldn't need to test. Um, I'm actually not sure how long it'll take to boot, so I'm gonna come back when this finishes booting. Well, so it doesn't take uh, too long at all. But, um, let's see, I'm gonna need to Yeah, this um is an NTFS disk, so I'm gonna delete that partition. And then I'm not quite sure what to do because I heard that it's best practice to put the home put your home on a separate partition, which I'm probably honestly gonna do. Just because um That, um, just because then that will give me the best, like, chance at, um, being able to install or reinstall when I want to without having to do a whole bunch of, um, uh, you know, reconfiguration. Volume name, um, I'm not sure, Fedora, because this is the main system partition. And this will be home. So now that that's created, I can close that and install to the hard drive. English and English. Um, Let's see. and I'll reformat, and this will be mount point of. Um, and I'll reformat. And there we go. So, 
Honestly, I love the Fedora installer. I've done, I've installed it a few times now, actually, in, in virtual machines. This is the first time I, I'm installing it on bare metal, but I've installed it a few times in virtual machines, and it's always been quite easy, and I'm really impressed. So, I think that looks good. Okay, so, um, let's see, <laughs> can you tell that I am not super well versed in um uh EFI installations. Anyway, I'm gonna work on this more. Once I get a successful disk partitioning scheme, I will be back. Okay, so I think this should be good. Accept changes. And honestly, I don't mind if I mess up the partitioning on this because this has nothing on it anyway. And I can always reinstall. So now we just begin installation. So yeah, I will be back when um, uh, this is finished installing. Okay, so it looks like this part of the installation is finished. And, um... I don't know if it'll reboot automatically or not, but um, it doesn't look like it will. But if I'm correct, they have included a little like um, out of box experience sort of thing, a la Mac OS. Let's see if um, I configured the um partitions correctly, which so far it looks like I have. So here's that out of box experience. So I will work on getting this up and when you see the when I come back, this will be completely set up. So here we are. Um and this is completely configured. I have um ZSH says my command shell. Um, let's just bring up NeoFetch here. And yeah, for now everything is configured. Um, yeah, I won't be doing much of a gaming demonstration or anything, but um, uh, because this is the same system as you saw in the previous videos. But essentially, now, um, uh, yeah, now it's all complete. Thank you for watching this admittedly rather uh, scuffed video still. Um, I really hope I can get back to shooting on a tripod soon. So yeah, thank you for watching. Have a good day.